हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिवॉप्स विजय टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टॉपिक और द इश्यूज व्हिच आइदर डेवलपमेंट टीम और द डिवॉप्स टीम और हु एवर इज यूजिंग गिटहब एंड फोर्क मैकेनिज्म दे फेस दिस इशू व्हाट इज द इशू लाइक कंपनी दे हैव देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके दे हैव देयर प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन सी आई हैव ओपनड अ गिट हब okay i have created one sample project okay now join um, as a employee to the company you have to work on something for that you have to fork this repo you have to fork this repo clone it do your changes push it and raise a pull request you are getting this flow you have to fork this repo clone it in your local do your changes work on your features or your uh functionalities okay once you are done commit your changes and push it into your fork once you push those changes in your fork you have to raise a pull request right but before doing this suppose if somebody has already pushed some changes in maven world organization then for you you have to rebase in your fork and that is a very tedious task for anyone to follow what generally people do in the outside world they delete their fork again they clone it again they fork it and again they clone it into local and then again they start working so that is like lengthy process and that way you have to do lot of work again i'll show you the shortcut how to rebase or i'll i'll show you the proper way how to sync your local with the organization okay we'll do everything step by step so let's go ahead this is the organization i am going to fork it okay i have clicked on fork i have some other organization also some dummy okay uh, let me create a fork fork is a functionality of github uh, those who are using github they might be awareing aware that what is fork so right now in adreno silk the fork has been created so the fork means this is not developer copy developer can do anything in this repo even he can delete he can do anything in this repo nobody cares okay now i have forked this repo next is i am going to clone this in my local if you see i am using ssh okay i could use https also in this case i have to provide username and password to clone if it is a private but i am using ssh because in last video i have already showed you how to do this ssh setup so that you do not have to um, uh, give username password again and again one time setup lifetime enjoyment so i am going to open one uh, bash git bash here okay so i have opened a git bash here uh, git bash location is this wherever you want to clone you can clone it do git i'll make it large okay let's fire git clone give that url which you copied this is the ssh url now if you press enter it will clone you do not have to give any username and password this is the ssh key setup for github i'll give the link in description for that video you can do the same setup okay so i have cloned it you can see cloning is done okay now suppose if you are doing some changes in pom.xml or something now we 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 are going to sync that repo let's go suppose let's go to the organization okay some other developer is doing a change here okay like think i am a different developer who has done a changes and pushing it here okay demo testing okay i'll put a testing word commit changes now somebody has pushed a change in organization repo but if you go here and if you open your repo source main we'll go to our file if you see change is not there but you might say that you didn't do a git pull you have to pull your changes so i'll do a git pull i have to go inside git pull
during the git pull also if you have done a ssh key setup you do not have to give any username and password it will automatically do the git pull but if ssh key setup is not done you have to give username password again and again during pull during push every time if you see it has come back saying that already up to date why because whatever developer did a change he did in organization okay but our repo is not in sync now we are going to sync repo to local okay now this is the next step so next command is git remote hyphen v this is just for display so what is my remote url remote url is origin arduino silk maven hello world dot git and the name it's like a pet name or something by default git will give that name as origin okay what you have to do is git remote add you can give any name parent or anything whatever you want and you have to add the organization repo right now okay so organization repo url will be again here also you have to give the ssh one is https one is ssh it will be difficult give the ssh i have added one remote now again fire git remote hyphen v this is just for display it will tell two repos okay one is silk one is goel vijay right this is my organization this is my fork now you have to sync the fork or your local fork from the organization so next command will be see generally you do git pull okay so when you do a git pull it will go to origin and it will try to fetch the main branch okay main branch when you are on main branch it will try to fetch uh, pull the main branch now i am going to tell this pull command git pull go to parent repo parent means this repo this is the repo and fetch me main branch since pull command is there so it will fetch and merge both it will do okay so git pull parent parent and main branch you even you can multiple pull multiple branches and merge in your main so this is how you put the command and press enter so now what it will do is it will go to the organization repo whatever changes some other developer did it it will pull that change and it will merge into my local so that's how without deleting your fork without doing any rework i have synced my local repo with the organization change let's see how it goes see fast forward branch new branch this is a parent main one file changed one insertion one deletion you can see i did not do anything i just added one parent and just did a pull this pull command with parent name specifically since i have given the parent name it has pulled it now let's go and check whether this has been see testing has come in local now you will ask question testing was there in organization testing was there in organization testing is there in local but testing is not there in github fork okay so now what you have to do is whatever changes has come nothing to commit git push now you are going to push you did a pull from parent now you are going to push that to origin main you are getting how the syncing is happening without deleting the fork i am pulling it from parent pushing it to origin so that's how it's like triangle pull from here push it to here now here to here you have to raise a pull request that's it you can see push is done let's go and check whether push is done on arduino silk or not you can see update greater java and testing 
so testing has come here so it, now it's a complete triangle sink is done i hope you are clear this video and how to sync uh, your local repo or your fork with the organization main repo without deleting without putting extra effort you have to just use a remote command thank you for watching this video i hope uh, this video will be helpful in uh, in your development testing or many activities mm -hmm.